Hi everyone, today we're going to be creating a Pixel Maths activity using Google Sheets. The idea is that students will type their answers into the spreadsheet. For example, the first answer is 10 and the second answer is 22. And if they get the correct answer, um, parts of an image are going to start to form up to reveal a hidden image. Now I have two templates available for you to download today. And if you're interested in downloading them, I'll have a link to that in the description box below. The first template is inspired by Among Us, so it's a character um, from Among Us. And the second template is inspired by the upcoming festivities and it's a gingerbread man. So if you're interested in those, you can go and download them now. Be sure to like and subscribe to support this channel and stay tuned with upcoming tech tutorials. So let's get started to find out how you can create this for yourself. The first thing we'll do is just go and grab a new spreadsheet. Here we are. Let's go and write question and answers here. We'll just answer. I'm just going to bold this, center a line. I like to also put some grid lines here, so borders, okay, just to make that stand out. And I also like to fill the cells with a kind of bright color so that students know to go there. Let's add a couple of questions here. For this demonstration, we'll keep it quite simple. So one plus one is two, one plus two is three, three is four, one plus four is five. Okay, so we just have a couple there so we can just show you how this works. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create the space for our pixel art. We're going to just click on this um, heading up here, which is C, the column C. Actually, let me just grab, get out of there. Grab the column C, highlight all of the columns here from C to Z. And what we're going to do is we're going to just hover our cursor on the edge here, and we're going to make them quite slim columns. So it kind of looks like pixels. We want to have kind of like square shaped um, um, spaces for the pixels. Okay, so now that we are ready, we're ready to create our pixel art. To create our pixel art, you are just going to be filling the cells with the colors that we want. So click on a cell and I'm going to make this cell black. So click on fill color, click on black, and there we have it. I'm just going to copy that because I'm going to select a couple of cells to make them black. So from H to N, I'm going to try to recreate the Among Us character. Copy and paste. Paste. At this stage, you can go and resize the columns again if you just want to adjust what the pixel art looks like. And then we're ready for the next step. In the next step, we're going to try to make the pixels appear only when students have typed the correct answer. So let's go and select a cell or pixel. Hold down the control button and select a couple more pixels that you want to appear at the same time. Okay, and once we are done, go to format and click conditional formatting. You're going to have a side panel that appears on the right. We're going to change the format rules. So here we're going to select custom formula and we're going to type in a formula. We're going to reference this cell here, our first answer. The first answer is in the cell B2 and to reference that, we're going to do an absolute reference. So begin the formula by typing the equal sign. To do an absolute reference, we'll do dollar sign B, dollar sign two. And we're going to say when it does not equal to two, is not equal to is the same as um, the two arrows like this. And we're going to say when B2 
does not equal to 2, we're going to fill the cell um, white. Okay. At the moment, you can't see this happening, but once we delete this answer, you can see that the pixels kind of disappear or we're just coloring it white. Okay. When students select, let's say, a wrong answer, so let's say they say 5, then nothing happens. But if they type in the correct answer, so let's go back to the correct answer, the pixels will show up. So that's what we're doing at the moment. Let's go and just delete that so that we know which pixels we've already fixed up. And we're going to just go and make some other pixels disappear. Okay, so let's do another one just for this demonstration. So select a couple of pixels at the same time by holding down your control button. And we can go to add another rule here. Go to custom formula. Type in equals, that's how we're going to begin the formula. And now we're, refer we're referencing B3. To do that, we're going to do an absolute reference. So dollar sign B dollar sign three. We're going to say does not equal to or is not equal to. And then we're going to write the correct answer, which is three. So when B3 um, is not equal to three, it's going to be white. Okay, that's what we're saying here. So let's go and delete that. And you can see that um, part of the um, art has disappeared now. Okay, so keep doing that for the rest of your answers. And that's how you're going to make every single one of the pixels disappear. Again, I have two templates ready for you to download in the description box below. If you'd like to adapt this into your own lesson plans, I recommend that you go and delete the questions that I've got here and write your own questions that are relevant to the topic that you're doing at the moment. I do want you to keep the answers as they are because um, the formatting has already been done here. Okay, so students have to type eight to actually get the pixels to show up. So as long as your question has the answer eight, you can really write anything you want there. And lastly, um, to share this document with your students, there are a couple ways to do this. You can share just a viewable link and ask students to make a copy. But my favorite way of doing this is doing a force copy. So I'll show you this. Just go to share, grab yourself a viewable link. So copy that. Let's stick it into our browser. So paste it in. And everything where the edit and onwards um, words and characters are, we're going to just delete that and we're going to write copy. What this does is it's going to lead students directly into this page here, which forces students to make a copy of the pixel mass. So just copy this and share it on your learning management system or just share it directly to students. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope that you got some ideas on how you can make your own pixel art and share it with your students. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to Class Notes for more videos like this in the future. Until next time, see you later and have a good day. Bye.